To many people, the Super Bowl commercials are just as important as the game. And now several celebrities and athletes are trying to score a touchdown with their star-studded PSA. Take a look. At the end of this message, another child will drop out of high school. Drop out. Gone. Lost. Our system is failing. Too many children aren't getting the quality education they deserve. We have got to make a change now. 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 Let's build a system where every child gets a great education. Let's give parents the power to choose the very best school for their child. Join us for every child, every family, for our future. It's time. It's time. It's time. Well, here to tell us more about that PSA is WNBA All-Star and Olympic gold medalist Lisa Leslie. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So oh All-Star. Okay, can we just talk about how beautiful you are, please, yes. first of all? Oh, gosh. Thank you so <laughs> much. Wow. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> I got the good jeans, right? Good jeans. <laughs> uh, why was it important for you to participate in this project and to lend your name and your support? Yes, I've been in support of American Federation for Children for quite some time now, but it was really about kids having choices, and I feel like we, as celebrities and adults need to have that voice for our kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's not fair that children have to go to schools that are sometimes underperforming just because of their zip codes. I, I mean, it's, it's, the government doesn't choose our churches, they don't choose our grocery stores and where we mm -hmm. shop, so why should they choose which schools we have to go to? Mm -hmm. And it's really about, um, you know, the, the dropout rate is very high. Yes. Kids are not, what we're doing is not working. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really not, and I think we have to find other ways to educate children, and everyone does not flourish necessarily in a public school, private school, a charter school, or a home school. Their parents should have choices to pick the best education possible for their kids. So what's the next procedure in order to make these changes possible? What has to happen next? Yes, good question. Well, we're just trying to get more parents to step up and be vocal about the change that's necessary, that they should have choices depending on their community. So it mm -hmm. will be good to really look into each state varies. It's different state to state. But figure out what your choices are and uh, using our voice. You know, someone told me the other day that there's been a march, uh, you know, in Washington on everything except education, when education mm -hmm. is one of the things that, you know, is very valuable. How can our country thrive and continue to thrive if our children are not being well educated? I tell point. people all the time that education changed my life. First Lady Michelle Obama has also said education yes. took from the south side of Chicago to the White House. Yes. Why is that message being lost in translation, though? And why do you think people just aren't getting how important an education is? Yeah, I think that's a, a great point. It's because it becomes such a, a partisan issue when it's really a nonpartisan issue. It's not about, you know, what, if you're a Democrat or Republic or what you think in terms of political stance. Mm -hmm. It's about the kids. And if we can really put our, I think, our focus back <clears throat> on the kids and not the money and not the unions and not, you know, where money is being shifted around and really focus on the kids and the education, obviously there's a lot that needs to be done with our public schools. I don't have the solution for that. Mm -hmm. but I I do know that kids deserve the best education possible. And I try to use my voice on behalf of all those children who can't speak for themselves. That's great. So for people who are at home watching this right now, what are some specific things you could advise them to do to help with this cause? I would definitely say look <clears throat> into what's happening in your legislation in your in your state. Mm -hmm. Figure out what are your benefits. Some people um, do have already school choice in their areas and may not be aware where they could get vouchers or opportunities to go to schools that are um, performing better. And then also check out your area, what schools are better, are performing the best and figure out are there ways for you to get your child into that school. But parents, I really put the onus on you. You have to be much more proactive. It's not the teachers and we can't blame everyone for our failing system. We have to use our own voice and really step up. And it really started when I had children is where I became very aware of, mm -hmm. hey, the schools that were around the area where we lived were not the best schools we up and moved to a better neighborhood, to the best school district, but everybody can't do that. Mm -hmm. right. And I thought, what about all those children that were left behind whose parents may not be financially able to move their children? What about yeah. them? And so that's why I became a part of it. And sometimes you have parents who are spending money on Jordans and yeah. not on SAT prep mm. courses. Well, what? That's preach, issue. preach, preach. Right, preach. Yeah. That's I, mean, a good point. I don't mean to get political, yeah, but, but it's you so know, true. Sometimes no, parents true. need to make better choices about how they spend their money on their children. Absolutely. Mm. I, I mean, obviously, I played basketball, but I was really into school and, and performing well. And obviously, I needed a scholarship to mm. get to college. And so it's important to really influence our children and tell them the importance of education. Parents, if you're proactive, make sure that your children perform once they do get these opportunities exactly. because it's not about just showing up and then acting up. You have to really go into, you know, when you get this opportunity, 
run with it, embrace it, and your education can really change your life. Yeah, yeah my parents yeah. always told me, school is your job. That's mm -hmm. right. You go to work, yes. and you I cannot like get fired. Exactly. So, go to work. Exactly. Yeah. Now, let's get to basketball, because you talked yeah. about your basketball career. Now, you yes. led the Los Angeles Sparks to back-to-back -back championships, and you were the first team sport athlete to win four, count them, one, two, three, four, yes. consecutive Olympic gold medals. My goodness. What were those experiences like? Is it all a little surreal still? Um, it is now that my daughter kind of knows, like, Mom, why do people want to take pictures with right. you? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I did a few things back in the a day. A few things. Right. Um, it, it's been great. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a role model, and I had mm -hmm. no idea what my sort of venue would be. But when I started playing basketball when I was in junior high school, I realized this is going to be my key to play basketball and use my voice. But I will do a few things. I will always maintain my femininity because mm -hmm. the girls got to have good looks yes. and fingernail polish. But <laughs> when I step out on the court, you know, I, I just played as hard as I could and I've always uh -huh. given it my all and I, I love it. I, I play with so much passion and I'm that way as a businesswoman. I'm passionate mm. about everything that I do and I go after it a hundred percent. How tall are you exactly? Uh, I'm 6'5 without heels, but I figure what's two more inches, right? Oh, Ooh. what's two more inches? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and not like many that. professional basketball players are also supermodels. You were assigned to Wilhelmina well, back in the day, I right? I was, yeah. I got a chance to come here in New York and, and live for a while and, and model, which, which I really loved. But um, I guess if I had to choose, uh, well, now modeling is always good. Someone's pampering you, doing your hair and makeup. <laughs> right, right. And your nails, of course. And my nails, <laughs> of course. Uh, but I, I just always enjoyed it. It was a goal of mine. I always encourage young girls and boys to write down your goals. Write down mm -hmm. your write down your short-term goals of goals you want to achieve within one year. Okay. And then write down your goals that you want to, your long-term goals that you want to achieve within five years. I wanted to be a broadcaster. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a model. I wanted to be an <clears throat> Olympian. I wanted to get my master's. I've wow. done all those things because I stayed focused. And I always mm -hmm. encourage the young kids, you can do it, yeah. but it's not easy. You forgot the book. You forgot yes. now owning you know, a full, uh, professional basketball team of the Sparks. Why did you decide Goodness. to become an owner of the team? Well, I really wanted to give back. And if my name could help get us more sponsorships, uh, that's what I wanted to do. So I participate in that area. We've kind of hit a little bump in the road, but mm -hmm. we're going to get past it. And okay. it's, you know, it takes money for these pros um, you know, these all of, all these uh, pro uh, teams to, yeah. to be able to be successful. And it's not just, you know, when I left the court, I didn't want our fans to leave. So mm -hmm. I try to do as much as I can to bring in sponsors. Oh, Anybody out there got a little extra right, right. <laughs> money? Cash. 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 Okay, so let's talk about the Super Bowl on yes. Sunday. Yes. Seahawks or Broncos? Who's well, taking it home this year? Let me just tell you, first, I'm a Patriots fan because L.A., we do not have football. Oh, okay. So I've always been a Tom Brady fan. But the way that Peyton dismantled mm -hmm. the New England Patriots, I got to stay with Peyton. I thought that uh, Indiana did him wrong. So I, mm -hmm. I like the yeah. fact that he's with the Broncos and, and back at the finals. Uh -huh. He deserves uh, uh, to win a championship. Okay. Um, although... Seattle has the best defense. It's going to be mm, tough. Yeah. Seattle is number one in so many statistics uh, defensively, but uh, I think Peyton Manning will pull it out. All I right, so are you going to go? I know. She's like, and defense. Football, I've got to cover it. You. <laughs> you know, i got about 15 jobs. <laughs> See, right, right. So are you actually going to go to the game, or where will you be watching? Uh, no. No, 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 I'm going to go with my chips. <laughs> and yes. uh, no, I, exactly. I, I'm a California girl. I will okay. be back in the sunny California when mm, game yes. time hits. Take us with you, yeah. please. <laughs> but before all that, you're going to go to an event to unveil this PSA, right? Yes, we're really excited about the PSA, and we're really hoping that it can reach, uh, you know, the masses and to, and to really encourage parents to figure out, look at themselves, look at their children and what education they're getting, and really uh, move towards free choice because it's, it's really about kids having the opportunity to choose the best education possible. Oh, love Thank that. Thank you so much. Yes. Good work. Oh, it's such an honor having you here. Thank you. That interview was all net, as they say. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. Yeah, you did. Time out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. it. Right. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.